Hello everybody, my name is Virginia. I am a project manager at Baltic Aviation Academy. Today you will watch a very interesting video about how to survive an engine failure. Our pilots with an instructor will demonstrate how to deal with the emergency situations. This video will be divided into three parts. In the first part, you will see the takeoff and the unexpected engine failure. So, let's see how our pilots will solve this problem. Lufianian 737 cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, Lufianian 737. My controls, timing. Stabilized. Take off thrust set. Take off thrust set, indication normal. Eight knots. Checked. We one rotate. Positive rate. Get up. Left engine failure. Copy. 400. Set heading mode. Heading select. P210 flaps 1. Speed to 10 flaps 1. Speed 190. Laps up. Laps up, no light. Okay. Set level, set level, change mode, trust max continues. Getting out set. Level well, change must continues. Copy. Very courage. Uh, Union 737. Engine failure proceeding on present heading. Request priority to land. Clear direct to base. Clear for priority landing. Full report when ready to final. Clear direct to base. Clear. Priority landing will report when ready to land. Lufianion 737. Lufianion 737. Direct zero uh, five zero. Getting zero five zero. Lufianion 737. Zero five zero set. Heading zero five zero. No normal checklist. Engine failure shut down. Condition, one of these occur, an engine failure, an engine flame out, another checklist directs to an engine shutdown. Do an engine shutdown only when flight conditions allow. Allow, allow. Auto throttle, disengage. Disengaged. Thrust lever, left side, close. Confirmed. Engine start lever, left side, confirm cutoff. Confirmed. Back switch, left side, off. Choose, choose one, APU is available for start. APU available, APU start.
APU gen switch left side on auto auto on in command checked go to step it balance fuel is needed no fuel leak crossfit crossfit valve open Transport and mode selector TA. If wing anti ice is needed, wing anti ice not needed. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. Go to one engine and operative landing checklist, page 7 to 6. Okay, after the procedures. Checklist. After take of checklist, engine bleeds. On. Packs. Left pack. Off. Right pack. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps. Up no light. Altimeters. QNH 1000 cross checked. After take of checklist complete. Continue courage. A normal checklist, one engine in operative landing. Condition, landing must be made with one engine in operative. Plan flaps 15 for landing, set we reference 15. Check the normal configuration landing distance table in the advisor information section of the performance in flight chapter. Maintain V reference 15 plus 5 knots minimum on final approach. Apply normal wind correction but do not go below V reference 15 plus 5 knots to assure adequate speed for go around. Use engine anti ice on the operating engine only. Checklist complete except deferred items. Deferred items. If additional go around thrust is needed. Not needed. Not needed. Go around procedure review. Do the normal go around procedure except use flaps 1. Maintain V reference 15 plus 5 knots until reaching flap retraction altitude. Limit bank angle to 15 degrees when airspeed is less than V reference 15 plus 15 knots on or the minimum maneuver speed whichever is lower. Accelerate to flaps maneuvering speed before flap retraction. Additional deferred items, ground proximately, flap inhibit switch, flap inhibit. Later landing checklist. As you can see, the crew has successfully dealt with the engine failure. After that, the first officer requests air traffic controller for the priority landing at the Manchester airport. The first officer starts reading the quick reference handbook, does normal after the takeoff procedures, read a standard takeoff checklist and continues reading the QRH section called one engine in operative landing. Okay. Your controls, my five Bs. My controls. Sharp issue 27 of May 2011, 11-3. Localizer, localizer frequency India, November, November, 109.5, set. Final approach course 234 is set. 
voice block check will be a distance from Octomouse India November November 1580 feet. Uh, ILS decision altitude 449 feet, airport elevation 257, runway elevation 249. Minimum safe altitude will be 3500 feet and will intercept our rise low from 3500 feet, uh, distance 10 nautical miles from India November November. In case of go around, climb to 3500 feet, straight ahead until passing 750 feet or distance zero from in the November November inbound, whichever is later, then turn right onto track 358, then as directed. Uh, approach briefing completed, any questions? No questions. Okay, my controls, your 5Bs. Your controls. My controls. Deployment 737 on base request direct to final. The Fiona 737 clear direct to final, clear for approach, will report when ready to land. Clear direct to final, clear for approach, will report when ready. Deployment 737. 5Bs completed. Heading 200 set. Heading 200. If you're ready, flex one please. Speed 190. Speed checked, flaps 1. Speed 180, flaps 5. Speed checked, flaps 5. Warlock mode armed. Warlock armed.
One engine on no operative landing checklist. Engine start switches. Right, continuous left off. Speed brake. Still pump. Landing gear. Down to green. Flaps. 15 green light. One engine on operative landing checklist complete. The quality is established. Lithuanian 737, runway established, request to land. Lithuanian 737, clear to land, 2-3 right. Clear to land, runway 2-3 right, Lithuanian 737. Lithuanian 5. As soon as all the necessary procedures are completed, the pilots prepare for landing. However, while the aircraft is approaching the runway, the fire warning of auxiliary power unit starts alerting. But the aircraft is below 1,000 feet above the ground, so no actions are allowed. Therefore, the pilots continue approach and landing, expecting to make emergency evacuation on the runway. 100. 50. 30. Speed brake up, auto brake disarm. Reverser unlocked. Sixty knots. Our control is stopping. Back to reset. Evacuation checklist. Grid crash evacuation. Parking brake. Set. Speed brake lever. Down. Flaps. Forty. Standby power switch. Bad. Pressurization mode selector. Man DC. Outflow valve switch, holding open. Engine start levers, both cut off. Cut off. Advise the cabin to evacuate. Cabin crew evacuate, cabin crew evacuate. Advise the tower. Lithuanian 737, emergency evacuation on runway. Engine air APU, fire switches. Override and pull. If an engine or APU fire switch occurs, illuminated switch, rotate and hold for one second. Timing. Evacuation checklist complete. The crew stops the aircraft on the runway and starts emergency evacuation procedures. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you have found this video interesting and useful. Our instructor will stay online for another 30 minutes. So if you have any additional questions about this video or some general inquiries about the type rating course, he will be more than happy to answer them straight away. Or if you prefer, you can send me an email, which you can see below. Also, I would like to invite you to the next webinar, which will be on the 23rd of October. We will try to answer a question why English language and crew resource management is so important in aviation. 
Thank you once again and bye for now.